The achievement of Train 7, the commencement of the Adelkota Kaduna Kano Pipeline Project and others are products of synergy and collaboration among professionals in the petroleum industry. Minister of State for Petroleum Resources, Timipra Silva, sums it up this way at a meeting in Yinagoa with permanent secretary, directors and chief executive officers of agencies and power startles. Over to George reports. The 1,000-seater capacity auditorium of the Nigerian Content Development and Monitoring Board is hosting a meeting of the Minister of State, Petroleum Resources, with Permanent Secretary, Directors and Chief Executive Officers of Agencies and Parastatals. The meeting is to assess performances in the petroleum industry in the outgoing year. We are one of the most expensive territories in the world for upstream production, and part of our mandate is to reduce cost by at least 5%. I can tell you, Honorable Minister, today we know that we have reduced substantially, and there are a number of interventions we are doing. We have set a target for the industry that they must come down, our partners must bring down a UTC to at least $10 to the barrel. We have almost seven refineries now coming on. One is commissioned, proudly supported by NCDMB. Then the remaining, we have almost uh, five now at uh, completion stages. They are about to be pre-commissioned. Any marketer who diverts product like the Stein for in-country use is not paid his claims. This serves as discouragement for marketers who attempt to smuggle or divert product per se. COVID-19 may have taken a toll on the petroleum sector and the Nigerian economy, but the minister has something to cheer about. We were able to achieve a train 7 FID together, the start off of the AKK, the process of deregulation has started, and a lot more, of course, has been achieved in the industry because of working together. So this is to showcase the fact that the industry is working together as one. I am quite uh, endowed and uh, blessed with uh, a lot of uh, very, very professional uh, uh, people. And we, we are really looking forward to achieve a lot more next year. Prospects of hosting oil and gas related activities in Bayelsa are very bright. Bayelsa is a, a fitting venue for this kind of assessment. That's why we are here today. Oil industry related activities will now be coming to Bayelsa because we have the uh, infrastructure for it. And uh, from what I've discussed with uh, the NCDMB, a lot more uh, infrastructure uh, will be developed in Bayelsa. This is what the minister has been able to do to bring us together at every point in time to review our progress in order to plan for the future. So this is quite significant. We're happy that NCDMB was able to host uh, the ministry. Here in Yanagua, uh, most of the ministry staff have never been to Yanagua in their life. It was an opportunity and they are all overwhelmed. Ofietime George, TVC News, Yanagua.